today is St. Patrick's Day, which is ironic because I'm going to kill all the clover in my yard as well as other pervasive weeds using an herbicide called Tenacity. Let's get started. Over by the shed, we have some common chickweed. Chickweed is rooted winter annual, which grows in moist shaded areas. Leaves are small, smooth, pointed at the tip with an elliptic in shape. Over by the garage, we have some purple dead metal, which is a winter annual often fused with henbit. Flowers of purple dead metal are light purple in color. The flowers are arranged in whorls and formed in the axis of the upper leaves. It is most notable when flowering during late spring and early summer. Along the edges of the front, we have plenty of white clover. White clover is very prevalent in unfertilized lawns and grows best in full sun. However, it can also colonize turf areas that receive fertilizer and are partially shaded. White clover can creep into thin turf forming patches. It grows well in spring, summer, and fall. This is a shot after my fall renovation where the grass itself grew in really thick, but the, the clover still seemed to stick out. The forecast for the next few days shows sun with some rains later in the week and medium temperatures slightly below 40 degrees at night. So this isn't completely the best conditions, but we're going to start and give it a shot in certain areas, as well as get a little help along the way. So to battle these weeds selectively without killing our grass, I'm going to be using a product from Amazon called Tenacity. Tenacity targets barnyard grass, carpet weed, chickweed, clover, crabgrass, dandelion, foxtail, goosegrass, henbit, yellow nuts edge, thistle, wild carrot, and more. Tenacity can be used for pre and post emergence control of more than 48 broadleaf weed and grass species. Its active ingredient, misotrione, is based on a naturally occurring compound produced by the bottle brush plant that inhibits photosynthesis in susceptible plant species. It is absorbed by plants through the roots, shoots, and leaves and distributed throughout the plant by both xylem and phloem translocation. Now, as far as seeding, seeding can be done the same day as application from labeled turf grass species. We recommend seeding as close to application time as possible for added benefits. As far as rainfall, tenacity should be rain fast one hour after application. Rainfall or irrigation one hour after application should not affect product efficiency. In terms of the applications, the label recommends three applications three weeks apart. Any reseeding should be done at the time of the second application. For repeat applications, post emergence weed control, especially for clover, ground ivy, wild violets, and crabgrass, will require a second application two to three weeks after initial treatment. Larger weeds are more difficult to control, and a non ionic surfactant is needed for weed coverage. The surfactant is available on Amazon for $14. I will add a link in the description. Surfactant for herbicides is a wetting agent with 80% non-ionic surfactant for increasing penetration coverage and overall effectiveness of almost any herbicide. Surfactants for herbicides can be used with almost any herbicide spraying. Surfactants reduce the surface tension of water to produce more uniform coverage 
and penetration of herbicides and weed killers. To use it with most herbicides in order to ensure more uniform coverage by reducing the surface tension of spray droplets. For most herbicides use one teaspoon per gallon. For Roundup use one tablespoon per gallon. The recommended application rate for tenacity for handheld or backpack sprayers is one teaspoon for two gallons of water with, tea, with three teaspoons of good quality non-ionic surfactant. Tenacity is safe for use at or prior to seeding on Kentucky bluegrass, tall fescue, perennial ryegrass, and centipede grass. Application at seeding can be made to find fescue only if it is less than 20% of a seed mixture. Tenacity is not recommended for use on zoysia grass, hybrid or common Bermuda grass, seashore, Once absorbed, tenacity quickly translocates throughout the plant. Weed growth is suppressed soon after application as photosynthesis is disrupted. Death of the plant usually occurs within two to three weeks. A repeat application at two to three weeks may be required for adequate weed control. Weed control is most effective on young and actively growing weeds. It will be reduced under moisture stress or from applications to mature weeds. Tenacity can be applied to many of the turf types commonly found on fairways, roughs, or for sod production, such as Kentucky bluegrass, perennial ryegrass, tall fescue, fine fescue, and centipede grass. Lower use rates are recommended for perennial ryegrass, fine fescue, and St. Augustine grass. Tenacity is not for use on putting greens. Tenacity has pre and post emergence activity on 46 dicot and monocot weed species. It can selectively control perennial monocots such as bedgrass and nimbleweed and annuals such as crabgrass and goosegrass in many turfgrass species. Tenacity can be applied at the seeding to prevent weed germination and allow the turf grass species to establish without weed competition. Tenacity was granted reduced risk status by the EPA. Reduced risk is an EPA designated registration status that accelerates the process for registration of certain new plant protection products. Tenacity received reduced risk status by the EPA based on its unique mode of action low use rates and favorable toxicity and human health profiles as compared to other herbicides currently on the market. It can be tank mixed with barricade and several three-way herbicides. Combinations can help turf managers broaden the weed control spectrum or improve the level of weed control over single product applications. Spot treatment Dilution rates are one teaspoon per 2,000 feet and mixed with two gallons of water.
make sure when you spray to coat every spot but do not need to soak in the solution just get a, a nice mist going and walk a straight pattern back and forth typically people will use a blue dye to mark where they have sprayed and for me that it just creates a mess on my hands and my clothes so I've opted to not use the blue dye when I spray The sprayer I use is a Smith Contractor 2 gallon sprayer for weed killers, herbicides, and insecticides. It is available right now on Amazon for $45 and I will add a link in the description. This is a versatile sprayer designed not only for lawns but also for commercial cleaning, sanitizing, and applying harsh chemicals. Premium commercial grade shut off with comfortable grip, lock on feature, an easy to clean inline filter. 21 inch polywan with Viton seals throughout pump and shut off for long term resistance to the chemicals. Pressure release valve helps prevent chemicals from getting on you before opening the tank. Simply pull on the valve to let out some pressure before untwisting. It includes five nozzles for ultimate versatility. My favorite is the poly adjustable brass, which goes from a strong single stream to a gentle mist. There are two flat fans and a high performance forming nozzle. It adjusts from solid stream to fine mist cone pattern. Okay, so it's been a little less than a week and we just had three straight days of rain and now it's beautiful and 64 degrees out and I'm coming to see what sort of results we've had so far. As you see, the chlorophyll is starting to fall out of the purple dead nettle. It's uh, losing its purple color and the flowers are yellowing. So in a few days, they should completely die. The chickweed is also taken a little bit longer, but it's starting to yellow as well. But as you see, the grass is remain completely green. Out front, more purple dead nettle is the tall ones are really still standing tall, but changing colors. We will update you more shortly in a future video to see how the final results have come in. A lot of the clover area has yellowed as well. This little piece of crabgrass is completely yellowed and is sitting all alone and is almost completely dead. So that is the first application for 2023. Thank you so much for watching. Please come back. We will be updating you with more videos throughout the season. But in the meantime, get outside and do some yard work. Thank you. And we'll see you next time.